Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks. We are going to give two minutes for the other students. Okay. Hello, Graciela. Okay. It's a pleasure. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, welcome. Graciela de Duarte, let me see. Welcome. Gabriela Hernandez, correct. Yes. Uh, Edwin Romero, right? Yes. You work in CESA, Edwin? You work in CESA? Sorry? Do you work in CESA, Edwin? No. No, no. Okay. Gabriel Hernandez, Edwin, Graciela de Duarte, um, Lupita Coronado, right? Lupita Coronado. Don't have Lupita in the list. Ah, Coronado here. Okay, Sara Quintanilla. Hello, Sara. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Sara Quintanilla. I don't, you are not in the list, Sara. Okay, let me see. Sara Quintanilla. Sara Quintanilla. Oh, baby. Okay, Belmi Carranza, right? Ahí empezamos. Yes. Yes, yes. Pone la tarjeta, Tani, empezamos la. Mónica, Mónica, ahorita. Hi. You are not in the list. Eh, Mónica, ¿usted cuánta clase ha recibido? Eh, ayer me incorporé. Ah, vaya, por eso que no la tengo enlistado, Mónica. Ok. Ok. Mónica Sales. Mónica Sales. Ok. Okay, and everybody, right? Mm, yes. Okay, let me see what time is it. One more minute, one more minute for the other students, right? Uh, before we start, let me explain you something, right? Para los que están acá, uh, quiero explicarles que yo no doy el pase de entrada al grupo, que el, el Zoom es institucional. Así es que por si alguno está queriendo entrar, no va a pensar que yo no lo dejo entrar, ¿verdad? Hay que darle ahí el, el toque apropiado al, al archivo, ¿ok? Para entrar, ¿ok? Y cualquier cosa ahí está en los teléfonos eh, de los compañeros que están apoyando las clases. Si no pueden ingresar, ¿verdad? Y para inglés, pues aquí estoy yo. <risa> ¿Ok? Ok, now it's time. Let's begin, right? We're going to start with the review. The review. So I will share my window. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Review. Okay, here. And the video is here. Transportation, simple present this one. Okay. Okay, let's re repeat the video of yesterday, right? Repetition. Okay, that I was microphone about off, earlier. right? Microphone off. Micrófonos apagados, please. Simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. 
They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we're talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use this not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples, I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work 
is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that is the review of the video, right? Now uh, we are going to go to the discussion. Discussion, right? Let me see a simple person statement here. Okay, and we are going to read your commentaries. Remember, uh, you were to write examples in affirmative and in negative, right? So let's see. I, I don't say the names, but I will read some of your commentaries, right? If you see some corrections, we can make it, right? Okay, example, it says, I. okay, let me see, I will make it bigger for you to see. Okay, this is the way, right? Give me a second, I'll move this here. Um, here, right? Okay, good. I walk to work. I don't live far from here. I drive to supermarket. I don't drive to supermarkets. My brother take, ah, uh, here, right? My brother take. Mm -hmm. Kevin, what, what do you think is the correction, Kevin? Kevin, my brother take or my brother takes? My take. brother takes. My brother, excuse me, repeat, takes. Kevin. Takes. Takes, correct, right? Remember, my brother is he. So you say, my brother takes, right? But congratulations to this student, good commentaries. Other example, my sister, right? Remember, you have to bring, uh, sorry, <laughs> begin with capital letter. Mayuscula, right? My sister takes, ah, correct, the bus to the university. She doesn't drive, ah, notice? It's correct because when you use doesn't, cuando se usa el auxiliar, it's not necessary the S, right? Ya no necesitamos ponerle la S in negative, right? My family uses, uses, right, public transportation. They don't need a car. Okay, good. I take the shower in the morning. My father doesn't, oh, okay, here. Solo se le fue un palito aquí, nada más. Okay, sorry. My father doesn't get up late in the morning. Alexandra works in her home or works at home, is that right? Works at home, okay? Now, uh, more examples. Affirmative says, I walk to the supermarket. My husband, I suppose it's a woman, right? Because it says my husband drives to work. You ride a bike. Jenny rides a motorcycle, right? A motorcycle. Okay. I take the bus to work. I don't drive to work. My mom walks. Correct, right? My mom is a she. Okay. She doesn't take the bus. My brother takes the bus to school, etc., etc., right? Okay. Let me see this one. I take the bus to, to work. It's not necessary to say to the work. In this case is to work, right? I don't go to work. You teach English class. Oh, me, thank you. Teach, right? You don't, I think, you don't, hello, welcome. I think the, the bus. Your example, uh, excuse me, your name? I can see you. Uh, your name. When you speak, I want you to tell me, uh, Beatriz, Lupita here, Monica, okay? You can make commentaries. Pueden hacer comentarios también. Yes, no problem. That's like, I like that. Eso me gusta, okay? Good. Now, uh, the last one, the last one, la última. I live in Colonia La Pacifica. I don't live in Colonia Curi, okay? Don't forget to copy capital letter, right? Mayúsculas. Mm -hmm. And punctuation. Punctuation here, right? Punto y, y aparte, o punto y seguido, right? 
My husband takes his motorcycle to work, okay? My husband, ah, here, right? My husband don't, or my husband doesn't. It is, it is Herrera. What is correct? My husband doesn't or my husband don't? Uh, is, uh, my, I don't understand. Okay, uh, can you see the, puede ver mi pantalla? ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Eh, yes, sí, sí, yes. sí. Okay. Por aquí está la manita, ahí se lo estoy señalando, ¿ok? My husband don't or my husband doesn't? Doesn't. 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 Is, is the, es tercera persona. Ok, thank you to Jay-Z and thank you to, to Iris for the commentaries. Ok, we have more commentaries. I have to say thank you very much. Thank you very much. I read all the examples. And uh, there are some times, some little mistakes. Hay pequeños errorcitos, right? Pero lo podemos corregir en el camino. Okay, no problem for that. So congratulations. Now let's continue. Today we are going to uh, make an exercise. Listen to me, please. I, I want to explain this, right? Uh, lo que tienen su computadora y pueden poner a la par el ejercicio. Uh, Sería, permítame, give me a second. Uh, knowledge here. 1.4, 1.4. Los que puedan abrir otra ventana en su computadora, lo vamos a hacer. Si no, yo les voy a enseñar el, la pantalla. I will show you my screen, right? Okay? And we're going to make it together. But listen to me, right? I won't give you the answers. Yo no les voy a dar las respuestas. Okay? And you have to make it. La idea es que lo hagan ustedes, que los alumnos lo hagan, right? And, but I can help you. I can give you some other example, right? And the explanation of the exercise. Yo le puedo explicar el, cómo hacer el ejercicio y otros ejemplos, okay? But uh, you can do it by yourself, okay? Now let's begin. Los que pueden hacerlo a la par mía lo vamos a ir haciendo. Y si, Sino después de la clase, ¿ok? Lo pueden hacer ustedes. Ok, let's continue. Knowledge check, it says, right? It's opening. Opening. This is the evaluation for you, remember. Esta es la evaluación de ustedes. Uh -huh. Tienen que hacerlo, ¿ok? Now listen. Complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. Verb forms. La forma correcta del verbo, right? Yes. Okay. And then it says, number one, my family and I, and you have two options. Look, you open. Live. Live. Uh, live. No, 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 no. Live. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> ya le contestamos en una pista. Respuestas. Eso lo van a hacer solitos. Cada quien en su casa, ¿ok? Yeah. And when everybody finish, we can check it together. Cuando todos hayan terminado, entonces vamos a darle las respuestas. Okay? I'll finish. Okay. Continue. So, my family and I live or lives. Two options, right? Two options in the suburbs. My family and I live in the suburbs or my family and I lives in the suburbs. Right? I can tell you this example. For example, I can say, my brother and I work in San Salvador. My brother and I work in San Salvador because my brother and I is too, right? But if I say my brother works, ah, because my brother is only one, works in San Salvador. So again, my brother and I work in San Salvador, okay? And then example two, my brother, only my brother, my brother works in San Salvador. Why? Because my brother is he. It's only one, singular, right? Okay. So you continue here. My wife and I, we, or daughter, Emily. So you can say it's singular. Is she, he, they. Okay. Good. She again, or son, or son is singular. Is a woman, is a man, he, 
my parents, okay, my father and my mother, my mother, only my mother, my father, he and they, okay? After you finish, you can click in submit. So when you click in submit, finish, right? But you must be sure. Cuando le demos en submit, y cuando todos le hayan dado en submit, ya todos hayan hecho su ejercicio, entonces podemos dar la respuesta, pero hasta que ustedes han terminado. Y si no, la, la, el mismo sistema se los da. ¿Ok? They give you. Por lógica que hay dos opciones. Si se los pone malo, es que la otra era la correcta. ¿Ok? So, it's easy. You can make it alone, right? After the class, or in this moment, if you want, right? Los que tienen su computadora ahí, lo pueden hacer ya. Los otros también pueden hacerlo después de la clase, after the class, okay? Understand? Okay, so let's continue, please. Now, uh, we're going to start with the class. I am going to start with the class. And I will share my window with you. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. and the PowerPoint here. I will show the po the PowerPoint here, okay. The PowerPoint presentation here, okay, good. Now, pay attention, please. Pay attention, ready? Okay. Microphones off, microphone off. Micrófonos apagados, please. Voy a hablar más despacio. Oh, yes, yes, no problem. No problem. Uh, when you don't understand, I can say, teacher, repeat. Teacher, repeat. Okay? Or like you say, I don't understand. I don't understand. So when I say that, I repeat or speak slowly. Cuando me digan, no entiendo. Entonces voy a hablar más suave o más, perdón, más lento. O voy a repetir, Okay? But you say, don't worry, right? Sin pena. Teacher, I don't understand. Okay? Thank you. Eh, no sé quién hizo el comentario, pero, pero gracias. That's okay. That's okay. Now, let's continue. Continue. Sorry, teacher. Estoy, le dije a mi hija. Ah. Que dice, que... <laughs> no, but... Hay que estar hablando algo fuerte. Y entonces le dije, que... ajá, era con ella. I'm sorry. No, pro no, no problem, pero, pero también para mí, no problem. Okay. But when you don't understand, cuando no entienda algo, deténgame. ¿Ok? Ok. Please, okay. no problem. Para eso estoy. Si lo tengo que repetir unas 10 veces, no problem. <laughs> ok, thanks. Okay, let's begin the presentation. Listen, please. Thank you, Chad. Ok, beginner module number two, right? Uh, the topic for today is uh, simple present statements with regular verbs. Regular verb, right? Okay. Good. And the objective for today is by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statement using irregular verbs, right? Ya hicimos oraciones con verbos regulares y negativas también. But today we're going to use only irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, right? Yeah. Okay. So to begin, we have the vocabulary for today. Is have, do, and go. Have, do, and go. This is when I use I. I have, I do, I go. With you. You have, you do, you go. We have, we do, we go. They have, they do, they go, right? And then we have with third person singular, right? Tercera persona singular. He, she, and it. He has, she has, it has. You don't say, he have, or, or Mario have, or, or, or Veronica have. No, no, you say has, 
with he and she and it too. You say has. And then he does, she does, it does, he ah. goes, she okay. goes, it goes, right? Good. Now, repetition, but please turn off your cell, uh, your, your microphone. Turn off your microphone, please. Vamos a repetir, pero con el micrófono apagado, ¿ok? Please. Okay. Have. Have. Do. Do. Go. Go. Don't say go. No, it's go, right? Go. Has. Has. Come on, repeat, repeat. Does. Does. Goes. Goes. Okay? So this is the vocabulary. Now I have more information today for you. I will repeat what is the simple present uh, for the last class and this class. La clase anterior y esta. Vamos a hacer un, una aplicación más amplia, ¿ok? Please, pay attention. The simple present. When do you use the simple present? ¿Cuándo lo usamos? Is one of the several forms of present tense in English. Esa es una de las formas del presente simple. Hay otras formas, como el presente continuo, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? But this is one of the most common. It is used to describe habits, habitos, right? Repeated events, eventos repetidos, and general truth, verdades generales, cosas que son en general ciertas, ¿ok? Como la tierra redonda, ¿ok? El Barcelona es el mejor equipo, etcétera, etcétera, ¿ok? The simple present tense is simple to form, right? Es sencillo. Just use the base form of the verb. <coughs> Sorry, and the subject, right? I take, you take, we take, they take. Subject and verb. And complement too, right? Aquí no aparece el complemento, pero también se puede utilizar. ¿Ok? The third person singular takes an S. A, a la tercera persona, en los verbos le agregamos la S. Ya aprendimos eso en la clase anterior. For example, I say, he takes, she takes, right? Ok. Good. Continue. For a habit. Example, right? Vamos a ver unos ex ejemplos. He drinks tea at breakfast. Siempre que va a tener su desayuno, él toma su té. It's habit. Es un hábito que él tiene. It's a habit. She only eats fish. Fish. Right? Solo come pescado. Maybe he's from la libertad. Tal vez vive en la libertad, por eso solo pescado. Right? Fish. Ok, notice that it's a habit. Es un hábito que él tiene. So we use the simple present there, right? Ahí es cuando usamos el presente simple. They watch television regularly. Ven televisión regularmente, ok? Habits. Ok, now, next one. For repeated actions or events. Cuando una acción o un evento se repite. Example. We catch the bus every morning. Agarramos el bus cada mañana. Se repite el evento, right? It rains every afternoon in the hot season. Cada tarde se repite, right? They ride to Monaco every summer. So every summer, repetidamente viaja a Monaco, right? He has money, right? Tiene dinerito, así que he can go to, to Monaco. Nice. Now, for general truth, verdades generales. Water freezes at zero degrees. Esto es cierto, es una verdad general. The earth revolves around the sun, right? La tierra gira alrededor del sol, it's true. Her mother is Peruvian. La mamá de él es peruana, so it's general truth, right? Okay. Now, we have some statement with regular verbs. Example, I live in Metapan. I is the subject, live is the verb, and in Metapan is the complement, right? Okay? 
So this is with regular verb. Live is regular. El verbo live es un verbo regular. Okay? Good, let's continue. He lives in Santa Ana. Lives is regular verb, right? And I need help, right? Uh, I'm a little tired. Ya, me, ya estoy un poquito cansado. Así que José Lobo me va a ayudar. José Lobo? José? Okay. Yes, teacher. What is the subject? He lives or in Santa Ana? What is the subject, uh, Jose? The subject is he. Excellent. Thank you very much. Beatriz Caldame. Beatriz? Sí. What is, what is the verb, Beatriz? The verb is leaves. Leaves, correct. And the complement, Lupita Coronado. Lupita, what is the complement? Hello? What is the complement in he lives in Santa Ana? What is the complement? Um, remember, has... remember? Wait, wait, wait. He lives in Santa Ana. Remember the, the formula, right? So, oh, okay. verb and complement. So, what is the complement in he lives in Santa Ana? He is. Le puedo ayudar, teacher. Okay, uh, who is? Por favor. Uh, Santa Ana. In Santa Ana, correct. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Good. Continue, continue. Thank you. Now, they work in a factory. They work in a factory. Let me see, Gabriela. Gabriela, what is the subject? They. Mm -hmm. Subject yeah. is they. Day, day, yes. Thank you, Gabriela. Christian Perez, Mr. Perez. What is the subject, Christian? The subject is no, no, day. No, the, the verb, the verb. The verb is work. Word, thank you. And Silvia Castro. Silvia, what is the complement, Silvia? Oh. No. La misma? Sorry? La misma, la que está... They, uh -huh. they work in a factory. They work in a factory. What is the complement? In a factory. In a factory, correct. That is the complement, okay? Good. And to, fin to finish, it says she works in a shop. Trabaja en una tienda. She works in a shop. Uh, let me see. Uh, Monica? Monica, what is the subject? Is she. She, good. And let me see. Uh, uh, Gris, no, no, no. Um, let me see. Iris. Iris, no le he preguntado, right? Iris, what is the verb? The verb is work. Okie dokie. No. Now, and Walter Bonilla, Mr. Bonilla, please. What is the complement? Complement is in a shop. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we have a statement with irregular verbs. Teacher. Sorry, question. Un, una pregunta. Sí, yes. por favor. Yes. Gracias. Fíjese que yo tengo una, una, una duda. Uh -huh. en, algún, eh, en, en el verbo works o work, uh -huh. eh, en algunas traducciones yo le escucho que al final no se pronuncia la K, sino que con T, pero en otras es con K. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Eh, for me, the correct is with S. Works. Es con, como con T. Con o S. Con K. No, K no, es. No. Works. Oh, pero se pronuncia la K. Sí, sí. Of course, yes. So ah, works. Work. 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 Ah, ok. Right. Sí, que en algunas traducciones yo escuchaba la palabra work, pero con That's T. It. Words. Words. Solo words. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, uh -huh. I, I imagine it's the simple past. No, okay. Porque me está hablando del pasado simple. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Worked. Worked. But this is the simple past. Es el pasado simple. Oh, ok. Yeah? Listo. Muchas gracias. When, when, when we see the simple past, cuando veamos el pasado simple, ahí les voy a explicar las pronunciaciones. De acuerdo. Gracias. Yes, yes. 
But even here, eh, aún aquí eh, hay tres pronunciaciones, que son la S, S la Z, Z, y la I, Z. Is, right? Pero ese es eh, un tema que después les voy a explicar. Ahorita, ¿verdad? Vamos a, a pronunciar solo work. Work. Listo. K -S. K -S. Ok. Works. Ok. Good. Let's continue. Now with irregular verbs, we have I have an expensive house. It's not true, right? Lo cual no es verdad. Mi casa no es cara. Okay? So I have an expensive house. So in this case, the subject is I. Have is the, the verb and an expensive house is the complement. But notice that have is an irregular verb, right? Live and work are regular, right? And then you say, why regular? Teacher, ¿por qué le llaman regulares? Because they have rules. Porque tienen reglas, okay? Reglas de pronunciación y de escritura, okay? But in the irregular verb, no rules. Pero aquí no hay reglas. No rules, okay? So in this case, have is irregular. Other example is, she has a good car, okay? She has. Notice that you don't say, she has. She has a good car. <laughs> no, no. No, it's she has a good car, okay? And then, we do good work. Okay, you, the students, you do good work. Do is irregular. Do is irregular, right? Juan does his homework every day. Notice that we don't say dos. Juan dos. No, 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 come on. Does. He is, right? Does his homework. So, have, has, and do. Has, those are irregular verbs, right? Irregular verbs. So, this is the class for today. Statement with irregular verb. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender ahora. Oraciones con verbos irregulares. Okay? Good. Now, let me see uh, something here. Maritza Cañas. Let me... Okay. Presente. Okay? Good. Now, uh, let me share this. Uh, give me a second. Um, hmm. Statement with irregular verbs. Okay. Here, right? Okay, let me share the window again. Okay. Here, right? The simple present statement with irregular verbs. Oraciones simples con verbos irregulares, right? Now, let's watch the video, please. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see if I turn the, ah, uh, yes, compartir sonido, yes. Okie dokie, now. Pay attention, please. ...and apply the rules that we just learned to form. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English, and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. 
what we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs have, do, and go will change and they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have like. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okay. That's it, right? Let me see. Teacher. Yes, okay. yes. Eh, eh, solo esos tres verbos son irregulares? No, Only... no, we have a lot. Tenemos mucho. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in the video, they say, most verbs are regular. La mayoría de verbos son regulares, right? I cannot tell you exactly, right? But to give you one, one idea, right? Solo para darle una idea, 90% are regular. El 90% más o menos, it's not exactly, no exactamente, but, but uh, they are regular. Y un 10%, digamos, just to say a number, right? It's irregular, okay? Mm -hmm. Un poquito okay. menos, quizás. But they are a lot, pero son muchos. They are a lot, right? So uh, we have to, they have a special combination. Tienen una combinación especial. No solo les vamos a agregar ese, ya estuvo. No, no, no. They have a special combination. And especially in the simple past. En el pasado simple también hay que conjugarlo diferente. Okay? Good. Teacher. Yes, 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 Lupita. ¿Y cómo notamos cuál es irregular y cuál es regular? Good question. Good question, right? It's simple, right? Listen to me. Le va a parecer chistoso, pero es sencillo. Okay. You have to memorize the irregular verbs. Tienen que memorizarse todos los verbos irregulares. Okay, al menos la mayoría, right? Wow. Y los que no están en ese listado son los verbos regulares. Okay? You okay. can start simple, right? Puede empezar por unos 50 verbos, right? Uh, there are some lists in the internet. Pueden buscar algunos listados en internet. Y pueden empezar por 50, luego 100, luego 150, etcétera, etcétera, right? Eh, the most common are like 150, right? Los más comunes son como 150. Still have some time, some problems to understand, right? Uh, inclusive yo a veces tengo problemas para entender algunos por ahí. Ok. So it's difficult, right? But it's the only solution, Lupita. Es la única solución. Memorizarse los, los irregulares y todos los demás son regulares. <laughs> okay? So it's a lot of work. Bastante simple. <laughs> yeah, simple and difficult. <laughs> but that's why you have to read. Por eso es que hay que leer. Cuando uno va viendo el verbo ahí, uno dice, este regular o irregular, okay? Good. Thank you. Any other question? No questions? Pueden hacer preguntas. No problem. I like the questions. Me fascinan las preguntas. ¿No? Ok. Ya nos preocupó, teacher. Ese es el problema. Ya no tenemos preguntas. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Disculpe por asustarlas. <laughs> ok, asustarlas. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, but yes. Yeah, the thing is that the very is very basic, right? El verbo es un elemento bien principal en todos los idiomas. Okay? 
So there are a lot, hay montones de verbos. So we have to, to work, right? Good. Any other question? No? Okay. So let's continue. Uh, you saw the video, right? And in the video say that we have to make sentences. Uh, me, sentences with have, with do, and with go. Three verbs, right? Have, do, and go. Three verbs. So we are going to work in groups and we are going to make sentences, right? We are going to make sentences. Listen, uh, I will make five groups. Pay attention, please. Five groups. Group one, two, and three, affirmative example. Me van a hacer ejemplos afirmativos with the three verbs, right? If you want, you can copy in the number. Vayamos copiando ya los verbos en el cuaderno. Do, have, and go. Right? Copiemos ya los tres verbos. Okay, group number one, two, and three, you make affirmative. Van a hacer oraciones afirmativas. Okay? Six examples. Six examples. Affirmative. Seis ejemplos. Have, has, do, does, go, goes. Ahí están los seis. Okay? Good. And the group number four and five, you are going to make negative. Negative, right? You are going to say, she, for example, right? She doesn't have. Okay? We don't, etc., etc. So, in this case, I need only, uh, because they are negative, only three sentences, right? La va a tener más fácil el grupo cuatro y cinco. Only three statements. Three. Okay, but uh, have, uh, do, and, and go, right? In negative. Okay? Now we'll make the group, right? Uh, sorry to explain this. El día de ayer tuve un accidente. Apreté un botón que no era, ¿verdad? Y los confundí a todos. Espero que no me vaya a pasar ahora, pero si llegara a pasar, ok, vamos a trabajar 10, uh, let me see, no, 5 minutes, excuse me, 5 minutes, 5 to 7 minutes, 5 to 7, right? And, but if you see, uh, if nothing happened, ya no llego a sacarlos del, del salón en que están, entonces se salen y vuelven a entrar, ok? Yes? But I will tell you when, yo les voy a avisar cuando nos vamos a salir, ok? Pero si llegara a pasar algo y ya pasaron 10, 15 minutos, salen y vuelven a entrar, ¿ok? Let's put a limit of five minutes. Pongamos un límite de cinco minutos. Si a los 10 minutos yo no, no los he sacado, entonces salen y vuelven a entrar ustedes, ¿ok? Good. Okay. Now let's do it together. Let's do it together. Five groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, group number one. Let me see. Uh, uh, group number one is Beatriz Aldames, Edwin Romero, Flor Matute, Lupita Coronado, Roberto Quijano. Session two, Brian Pinto, Christopher Sánchez, Gloria Escalante, Miriam González, Sara Quintanilla, Silvia Castro. Number three, Cristian Pérez, Griselda Chacha, Jose Lobo, Kevin Portillo, Maria Maya. In group number five, eh, I have two five. Let me see. Uh, no, 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 group number four, Cori Monterrosa, group four, grupo cuatro, Cori Monterrosa, Delmi Carranza, Gabriel Hernández, Siri Herrera, and Monica Sales. And group number five, Ademir Garcia, Carlos Dominguez, Graciela de Duarte, Verónica Rivera, and Walter Omar. Okay? Now let's do it. Good morning. 
morning. Okay. Miriam González, hello Miriam. Yes, hello, hello, good evening. Eh, se, me, se me quedó solita acá en, la, en el principal. Eh, me va a trabajar con Maritza Cañas. Maritza, can you hear me? Maritza, me oye. Can you hear me? Ay, aquí tengo a Brian también. Hello. Ok, hello, Maritza. Eh, open your camera, please. And Miriam and, and Brian, please. You're going to work together. You're going to make three sentences. Me van a hacer tres oraciones en negativo, ¿ok? Eh, no sé por qué me los dejó en la pantalla principal el programa, pero you work together, right? Brian. Oraciones en negativo usando qué verbos? Go, have, and do. Go, have, and do. do yes, en negativo, negativo, right? Negativo. Negativo, okay. yes. Ok. Ok, do it, do it, please. Voy a ir a otra sesión. Lo voy a dejar, ¿ok? Thank you. Voy a hacer una... She has... She has a... a um, ay, se me olvida cómo se dice bicicleta en inglés. Bicycle. Es, es, ahí, ahí podemos decir... She has a... She has a good bicycle. Yes. Lupita en Beatriz, open your cameras. Abramos las cámaras. She has. And Beatriz, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Bicycle. Cool. Ah, Oh, yes. eh, teacher, eh, Brian se desconectó y parece que Maritza tiene problemas de conexión, entonces voy a hacerlo yo y... No la escucho, no, no la escucho. No la escucho. Perdón, hoy sí. Eh, sorry, miren, perdón que la máquina la dejó aquí, no sé por qué. No yes. hay problema. Ok. Let's make Entonces, the sentences. Voy a hacer las oraciones. Please. Okay. Okay. Do it. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Yo ya tengo tres. I tengo, I do my homework. She goes to the cinema and they have a question. Ok, excellent. Congratulations, Gloria. And Silvia and Christopher Sanchez, please open your cameras. Open your cameras, please. Ok. 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 Lo voy a dejar un ratito. Yes, continue. Okay. Casi no tengo problemas de conexión, pero sí me está costando. Este dijo él que son tres oraciones en negativo con el usando el verbo go, have y do. Oh, wow. Aquí está el teacher, ¿Sí? le puedo preguntar. Ok. Teacher. Yes, question. Eh, tenemos acá un ejemplo. Ok, tell me, diga. Sería, you don't have homework. ¿Está uno correcto o no? Yes, you don't have homework, it's correct. You don't have homework. Perfect. Ok. Perfect. Okay. Ok. 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 Yes. Eh, Kevin, mi amor, dice, open your camera. Open your camera. Ok. <laughs> Remainer, right? Dentro de tres minutos terminamos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Muy bien, ahora lo hacemos con Will.
Hello, Maritza. You finish? Maritza, can you hear me? Escucha, Maritza. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> no escuché nada. Ah, ok. Eh, se me no había quedado fuera. Casi nada. Ok. No he escuchado casi nada. De la... oh. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you have problems of connection, right? Tienes problemas de conexión. Yes. You can hear me. Me, me escucha. Exacto. Yes. Oh, yes. Entonces trate de escuchar los ejemplos que vamos a dar dentro de unos. Por lado, pero bien. Dentro de dos minutos vamos a, a reiniciar. Ok. Perdón. Uh, my father doesn't have. Es que no es así, yeah. creo yo. It's negative, right? Negative. My father doesn't. Sí, negative. Pero el, el Pero verbo, does. estamos hablando que si siempre, si siempre cambia, ¿verdad? No, no, no. no. When it's sí, negative, teacher. no. Eh, Mónica y Gabriela, open the camera, please. Okay. Es que no, mi cámara no sirve ah, en mi yes. computador. Ay, lo finish. siento. Siempre se me olvida. Pero mañana todo. me voy a conectar en el teléfono. Okay. Dicha, sí. yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, digamos. Please. Gabriela. Se la voy a plantear en español Amorita. para. Pero, digamos, si yo quiero decir, mi, pa, mi padre no tiene un carro, ¿cómo sería? My father. Doesn't. 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 Have. Doesn't. Have. Ah, ah, ¿por qué? Porque el verbo no cambia. No cambia. When, only ah. when it's negative. In affirmative, yes, my father has. But in negative, my father doesn't have. Uh, okay? Understand? Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Gabriela tenía una pregunta, Gabriela. Gabriela. No, okay. Good. Continue. O sea, siempre que es negativo no cambia el verbo. Eh, no, no. Aunque sea irregular. Yes. Aunque sea en tercera persona, sería verdad. Aunque sea regular o irregular, no cambia. Doesn't change. ¿Ok? Mm. Ok. Yo solo tengo una duda. En la última que hicimos, she doesn't to depart. ¿Lleva el, el depart o no lleva? ¿O no lo lleva? Go. She doesn't go to the park. She doesn't go, she doesn't go right? Yeah. No, yeah. She doesn't go. No, no. She doesn't, she doesn't go. 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 She doesn't go. Uh -huh. Go. Yes. Okay. Continue working. Continue. We have. Sí. Ahí viene Cori. Sí, ahí viene mucho de bien. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'll take the attendance. ¿Qué pasó, teacher? Se fue. Antes que terminemos, voy a pasar la asistencia. Y los de CESA se me quedan un, un minutito más. Solo los de CESA. ¿Ok? Ok. Pero antes de okay. que pregunte, voy a tomar la, la asistencia. Erika, 
Is Erica here today? No. Okay. Eh, tengo dos Guadalupe, Guadalupe Coronado y tengo otra chica que se llama Guadalupe. ¿Está presente la otra chica Guadalupe? No. Okay. Coronado, sí, yo soy Guadalupe también, pero no sé qué apellido dice. Guadalupe, tell me please. No la ubico, Guadalupe. Yo soy Guadalupe, Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Guadalupe Coronado en Guadalupe. Gloria Guadalupe Escalante, soy yo. Guadalupe Escalante. No sé si me no. tiene. Eh, pero hoy día hace el lanzamiento. Escalante, ok, correcto. Sí, hoy sí ya la tengo, listado, no worry. So, Guadalupe Coronado en Guadalupe Escalante, yes. Jennifer Duarte, Jennifer Duarte. No, ok. María Amaya, María Amaya. No, ok. Aquí, aquí. Yes, yes, ok, sorry. Yes. Eh, Pamela Orellana, Pamela Orellana. Pamela. No, ok. Verónica Rivera. Sí, teacher. Yes, excelente. Yes. Suleima. Suleima. No, Suleima today. Ok. Good. Los demás porque ya les tomé asistencia. Don't worry. Ok, example, right? I need, uh, because of the time, listen. Por el tiempo, vamos a dejar los ejemplos para la otra clase. Yes. Ah, ok. En discussion and copy in post. Así como me han estado escribiendo los ejemplos anteriores, los felicito. Así quiero que me escriban esos ejemplos que hicieron ahora. Me los agreguen al post. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so, thank okay. you very much. Solo me quedan los de César. Solo los de César. Los demás. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Solo los de César se me quedan, no se vayan a ir. Eh, los de César lo mismo que Holcimba. Eh, sí, Pero eso se refiere a los que hemos entrado al, al ingreso corporativo por Holcim. Eh, sí, correcto, a los de Holcim. Okay. Ajá. Sí. Okay. Regálenme uh -huh. un segundito, no se me muevan ahí. Para que salgan todos bien guapos aquí, ¿ok? ¿Cómo? No entiendo. Ahí los estoy tomando ya, no se preocupen. Ok. Permítame un segundito. Que no va la sonrisa. Eh, permítame un segundo, que no, no me salió la foto. Permítame. La congela. Ahí dice, no es que digamos chis. Yo les aviso. Ok, aquí está. Va. Chis. Ahí está. Ahí sí. Ahí está, Verónica. Sí, me salió en la foto, Verónica. Ok. Y le damos guardar como. Y la mandamos al archivo acá. Holcim, le vamos a poner. Holcim. Holcim. Ok. Bye bye. Have a good night. Hasta el lunes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow no, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Teacher, tomorrow. Habla clase mañana. Yes, tomorrow, clase. Yes. Otra vez. ¿De qué día? Yes. No. Perdón. ¿De qué? ¿Cuáles van a ser no, los horarios no, en esta no, ocasión? Sorry. No. Yo, yo les voy a avisar, es cierto, los viernes no hay clases. Ajá. ¿no? Ah. Exacto. Yo les aviso en el grupo, pero sí, creo que no hay clases. Sí, de lunes a jueves, yeah. tengo entendido yo. Les confirmo en el grupo. Lo que pasa es que como el lunes okay. no hay clases, no sé si van a tomar la decisión de tener ¿Tiene una plataforma, teacher? Yo les aviso. Vi que decía que también viernes. Yes, yo les aviso con seguridad. Ok. Ok. okay. okay. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye. Buenas noches. Bye. Bye.